Hi, this is Connie Cleveland with a nine-week-old Border Terrier puppy, Pandemonium. Uh, I've had him two weeks today, and we're going to start by just doing a few of the tricks that he's been working on. Sit, spin, both clockwise and counterclockwise. I'm starting to teach him to be a little more patient today, so you're going to notice that I give him multiple treats in the same position. I would like his expectation to be, hey, if I continue to sit or if I continue to down, I can make more reward happen. So this is his first downstay on the target, and it's now become an indirect pursuit of reward. Notice that I'm putting the treats on the floor out in front of him, but I'm rewarding him at the target. This is now to move away from reward in order to earn reward. My left hand is not holding him in position, but I'm ready to push him back down if he were to get up. Another one of the tricks that I was luring him to do was shake. I'm trying to get him to be able to shake or touch with both of his front feet. Additionally, in the last video, I had started pointing to the platforms that I wanted him to get on and today I'm going to just reinforce sitting on those platforms for a little bit more time, just like the sit stay and the down stay. I would like him to be a little more patient about sitting on either one of those targets. One of the ways that I practice the mechanics of retrieving is to throw food for my puppies because it causes them to go out and come back. Notice that I'm cradling him by the chest every time I throw something for him because that's going to become a cue to look out. One of the things I like about throwing food is that because the puppy does not have to carry an object back to me, he will often come back faster. In Pan's previous video, I introduced him to this target, and it's a little easier than throwing food on the floor. Sometimes food is hard to see. White is an easy color for a puppy to see. So again, I'm using the cue that I'm cradling him, holding his chest to get him to look out at the target, letting him go out and get the treat, and then calling him back to me. So now watch what happens when there's a toy on the ground and he doesn't see it, and I cradle him and he looks out. He's already learning that that's a cue that he should look out. There's going to be something out in front of him that he wants to go and get. Now I'm going to do something called a double retrieve, where I throw one toy, don't let him go, throw a second toy, and when he comes back with the second one, he has to remember where the first one is. That is made easier by the fact that when I cradle him by the chest, he looks out and sees the object. Certainly the ability to do a double or to retrieve something that you haven't just seen thrown is important in our obedience dogs when we start talking about the directed retrieve or glove exercise. If you're going to try this with your puppy, I would recommend that you get in a doorway and throw one object into one room and the other object into another. That will prevent your puppy from picking up one object and running directly to the second object. The only reason I didn't do that with Pan was the difficulty of videotaping uh, the retrieves when they're going into different rooms. I'm pleased with his work today. We got to practice some luring, some move away from reward in order to earn reward, some coming when called, and some retrieving. And that is my goal for most of my sessions with my puppies.